Today's video, I'm going to show you how to block the 3 3 loop blitz that is pretty meta right now in Madden. And uh, we're going to be doing this out of and really any formation. It doesn't matter the formation, uh, it is a concept that can cross apply to bunch, to tight, to trips, to spread, to really anything. It doesn't matter. So, we're going to show you how to block this blitz. Now, um, this is uh, something that we discuss. We always update this stuff in the Patreon for you guys as soon as it comes out. So uh, if you're not a Patreon member yet, it's a great way to stay on top of pretty much everything in Madden. Uh, we have all you get access to all of our ebooks. You get access to all of our updates, any new ebooks we drop. So if you want to be a Patreon member, the link's going to be in the description. So the three three loop is probably the best blitz in the game, and it's because it's a couple reasons, but it's really good and. Uh, essentially, this is the setup. Now, they're going to use or kind of write down in here. And what you'll see is typically somebody's going to basically loop in off of these stacked contains. So, uh, the best way to pick it up, and I will say that in general, uh, most pickups that you've probably seen have been inconsistent at best. And it's because this blitz is really good. Like, even if I block my running back or block my tight end, a lot of times it just comes off of the opposite side. And that's part of what makes it so good. It's a send five pressure. So you have pretty good uh, coverage behind it. And then not only do you have good coverage behind it, but really any pass protection formula or pickup formula that a lot of people have ta talked about is pretty inconsistent at best, as you can see right there. All right. So how do you pick this blitz up? Well, if it's a four-man loop, okay, so let's just say they're sending four uh, and you want to send five out, all right? You should be able to send five out against four a four-man loop. I'll show you kind of, and we'll do this kind of in stages so that you can see this. So uh, basically, if I want to send if I want to send five out, all we're going to do is we're going to ID the defensive tackle, and what you'll see is it won't pick it up. <laughs> um Essentially, what you want to do is if it's a four-man loop, you're going to slide your line um, to where they're basically threatening you. So in this example here, we're threatening off of uh, this right side. We're not super threatening off the left side. So essentially, we're going to slide uh, to the left, and then we're going to ID the tackle, and we can send five out as long as we step up. Okay. Obviously, we've gotten shedded there, but as long as we step up, we can send five out. Okay. Most people want to, by just nature, they want to send four off of the running back side so that if you send the running back on a route, it's it's not uh, like you're going to struggle. The beauty of this uh, blitz pickup, though, is if, you, if you're able to get this blitz picked up, you should have quite a bit of time because if you think about it, the contains aren't going to shed. So you'll see here they don't shed with their contains, and so there's really only one player on the field that can shed you, uh, or two, I guess, sending. So that's a decent pickup. If they send five, uh, I'm going to show you what's going to happen. So uh, let's say they send the five-man loop. We're going to slide, uh, and we're going to ID here, and we're going to send five out. Sometimes this will pick it up. Sometimes it will be enough to pick it up. Um, most of the time, and actually picked it up okay there, most of the time you're going to get looped off of one edge, okay? Um, so that's where we're going to introduce a little bit of a different concept, uh, similar conceptually, but a little bit of a different uh, blitz pickup. And uh, we're going to introduce like blocking some people. So you see here, actually able to pick it up pretty good. And um, yeah, we send five out against block five, right? Against probably arguably uh, the best blitz of the game. But if you want a surefire way uh, to pick up the blitz, at least as sure as I can be right now. And again, um, this is this is the bl best blitz in the game for a reason. It's really got it's really good. It's really hard to pick up. Um, but basically, what we're going to do is we're going to slide away from the running back. We're going to block the running back, and then we're going to ID the uh, the defensive tackle. Okay. Uh, so what this is going to do is the line should pick up the right side loop off the tight end side, and then the running back should pick up the opposite side, and then you should have plenty of time to throw a absolute laser beam over the top. Now, I want to show you that this blitz pickup does work for other formations as well. So let's say, for example, you want to run you know, tight slots, right? I have an ebook on tight slots. I think tight slots is really, really good. Uh, what they'll probably do if you're running tight slots is they'll probably set it up at an LB blitz, which is still basically the same concept. It's just out of a different alignment. 
So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to slide protect to the right. We're going to block a running back, and we're just going to ID this tackle here. And I'm going to snap the ball, and you see we're able to pick it up. Now we're getting shedded. Okay, that's practice mode sheds. Typically in game, they're not going to be that problematic for you. So basically, you're going to block your running back, slide away from your running back, ID the defensive tackle. And this is going to open up a lot of different formations now that we can begin to utilize. For example, um, we can do this out of like a real spread out formation, like a trips uh, or tray open. So in this example here, we're going to show you uh, how to do this out of this uh, look. So we're going to slide protect to the right, we're going to block our running back. We're going to ID the tackle, ID the defensive tackle. And uh, if if they send five, you see here, we just have to step up in the pocket. And we've got a pretty good little blitz pickup. Now, we are getting shedded again. But you see, that's, base, that's the basic formula uh, right now for picking it up. Now, let's say you're in a – let's say you don't want to block your running back, okay? Um, chances are, you know, you might not want to block your running back. So if you're in like a five wide or something and they're trying to and they're threatening you with this with this type of blitz look. Uh, what you want to do is basically conceptually, it's all the same. It's going to all be very similar. OK, um, most of the time, if they're in a, if you're in a five wide, they're only going to send four at you. Uh, and if they're only sending four at you, what you want to do is you just want to slide protect um to to whichever side you think it's coming off of and you want to id and then what you'll see is typically i can uh send five out as you can see right there now i did get shedded but i can send five out. now um if they're sending five i want to show you this real quick so what you'll see is a, if they're sending five at you um you can actually quasi pick it up out of a five wide if you just id the tack id the nose tack so we're just going to put these guys, um, because of their alignment, we're going to uh, put these guys on routes, ID the nose tackle. Here we weren't able to get it picked up, okay? Um, but that's something you can try. Now, the other cool part about this this specific formation, though, is we have in a lot of five wides, they have these, uh, basically these, like, uh, check and release routes. And so what these check and release routes are going to do is they're going to allow you to be able to basically pick the splits up and have a hot read. So I'm going to leave one of those check and release routes. So here we'll put a out route to the left side and we're going to slide away from where the check and release route is. And then we're going to ID that tackle. And you see here able to basically pick the blitz up and then we're able to have plenty of time for a crosser or something to develop across the middle. Okay. So those are some of the best tactics. Uh, for picking up the blitz out of the nickel 3-3. Three, three. Uh, let me close out with one more uh, concept, and that is to use how to use a tight end. So let's say I want to use like tight slots and I want to I want to you know create some some motion out, you know, to create some some problems for uh, the opponent. Okay. So if I want to do something like that, again, we're gonna set the splits up, we're gonna move these guys out, and we're gonna use her down in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to motion this running back out on a route, okay? As you can see, it can really manipulate a lot of what they want to do. So what I like to do is we're going to block our tight end. So we're going to slide protect now to the left. We're going to block our tight end, and we're going to ID the tackle. The tight end becomes the blocker. And what you should see here is we're able to – we actually got crazy peek out. <laughs> this blitz is so crazy. Um, it's so inconsistent how it works. But uh, anyway. Basically, just slide away from whoever you're blocking, and then essentially you should have pretty decent protection. That seemed a little fluky to me. Let me try it again. Let's see if I get the same result. So let me slide protect to the left, block the tight end, ID this guy right here, and that time we get looped off the left. But And that's why I think the running back is the best uh, for the pickup because if you think about the way the loop works, it can really manipulate the uh, linemen. So it can be kind of challenging. Uh, one thing you can try with the tight end is just instead of uh, sliding, we're just going to basically ID here. And you see we're quasi able to pick it up. Again, the, the running back's kind of eh, in pass pro. So, uh, yeah. But anyways, conceptually, um, you know, blocking the running back is is pretty, pretty much foolproof. Slide to the right, block the running back, ID this nose tackle, and you'll see here. 
blitz is pretty much never going to come in, and then you just got to make a read. So that is uh, really the right now the best way to pick up the Luke Blitz in Madden 24.